So uh, Vicki White is the lady. Yep. So this is Vicki White. She's the corrections officer. She's been, uh, I think, a 17-year veteran of uh, the police Alabama force. The correction, no, corrections officer. Okay. And she's... She's uh, a CO, huh? Yeah. All right. So Casey White is this guy that, you know, I guess she thought was worth risking it all. I have to say. So she looks like Aaron Rodgers with a shorter haircut. Aaron Rodgers, older Aaron Rodgers that didn't see the sun for 20 years. (laughs) I don't know if he's seen the sun. Yeah. Um, So he's a suspect he's on in jail for murder. Um, and then she was up for, I think she was retiring. This was okay. like all like right before. Um, she just sold her house for $95,000. So Alabama may be the last bastion where you can like actually get real estate. Oh yeah. You can get, you can get 900 <laughs> acres if you want. Yeah. So I don't even know how big that house was and for that 3, much. And a 3,000 square foot house. Yeah. So she just sold her house. She was up for retirement, whatever. And she decided to risk it all for this guy. He's six nine, so don't falter yet. Mm. Do you know what very, I mean? It's very six tall nine, drink. Nine murderer. Yeah, they've been together in the jail for a while. You know, making yeah, eyes, yeah, yeah. making plans. So she said that she had to take him to a court um, appearance that was not real. So they basically just took off from the jail. She had him in the back of her van and. Bye bye. So they're still on the run. And I just have to say, like, I'm really rooting for these kids. Can we have them side by side again, Bob? So are they are they still missing is the question. Yes. Okay. There's a warrant out for her arrest, and then he's, you know, in jail for murder. So again, he has nothing to, to lose. To lose yeah, yeah, except yeah. for maybe well, I mean, love. solid right? Yeah. He's got Solitary love. for a very long time. I mean, there's not much more you can do to someone that's, Okay, you know. is it weird that I'm rooting for them? No, that's what I just said. Like, this is the kind of just insanity. It kind of reminds me of who was the guy that took the plane and just like... Bebo Russell. Just got yeah, in. Yeah. I mean, there's something Sky King. so... Sky King. Yeah. There's just something so insane to me right now and especially the way things are like i just have to okay so can we go into i have to admire what the murder it. was and what the reasoning was now because if it's a murder that that i can justify then i'm gonna root for them even harder do we know what mm. he was what what the the circumstance was of the murder was, okay so casey white has been arrested on two counts of capital murder in 2020 he shot a dog uh, no, no, that's not true. He is he is the sole suspect in the killing of 59-year-old Connie Jane Ridgeway, who was found dead in her Rogersville living room back in October of 2015 in a potential murder for hire. So he was hired. I'm guessing, what do you guys think? Five grand? He got a cool five grand. They I, always do. This feels like less in this area. You think less? I think it may be a cool... I thought 1K. it always, oh, I thought it always had to be at least five. Okay. I thought that was the, I mean, minimum going right. Yeah. But um, what's the other murder? So Casey White, uh, oh, so that's two counts of capital murder? Yeah, it said he'd been serving a 75-year sentence for a 2015 crime spree, including holding six people at gunpoint okay. and, and shooting one of them and a dog. And oh, and, oh was, and the dog. Okay, so who is the? Uh, so he shot. It was a, Was it a couple and their dog? I guess it no. was one person and the dog. But he's holding. Well, the six dog knew too point. much. So he only he probably sh- killed them first, and then the dog was sitting there, and he was just like, "Ah, oh, fuck." He was only hired to kill probably her, right? So okay, so the, he was charged with two counts of capital murder in the stabbing death of Connie Ridgeway. So he killed a woman, and then before that. I guess he had also, uh, dude. This is weird. I, I don't know what what the situation is with this, but uh, yeah, he uh, he's been uh, doing a lot of stuff. Stabbing, stabbing is, is hard to get behind because that's yeah, stabbing. If is you can go and blow issue. somebody's head off and they don't really know, you know, and you're kind of in a John Wilkes Booth sitch, 
<sighs> Maybe, but, you know, stabbing is like, man, you really want to kill someone. Yeah, you know, but it was 2015. He's a changed man, you know. <laughs> Seven years in the clink will do that to you. In the hooskow. Yeah. The pokey. And she saw that, and she was like, you know, I'm about to retire and get Pop up my that pension. Pick. Oh, no. She did this right before retirement? Yes. Yes. God damn I mean, it, this dude. is the this is they might as well have stolen a plane and just flew it into She got them titties taped down too. I I don't know what they're gonna do for money. What are you gonna do for money? She has not she just sold her house. Yeah, she she got, has she ninety five thousand dollars. It's not gonna be enough money for anything. For these two? Come on. They can what are you talking about? Money for what? They, you gotta live the rest of your life. Oh, no. Yeah. No, you just need to get away. You need to get down to what? Mexico. Mexico, something like this. A blonde woman's going to stick out in Mexico, okay? So she, you've got to go overseas, and, like, that's not going to do it, man. That is we not don't do know it. what she's done to her hair. We don't know what they look like right now. Mm-hmm. They're just kind of young and in love and just, you know, probably in Cancun. You know, Carlos and Charlie's mixing it up. Gosh, I want to see the movie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who Although would, I did would, already uh, see Pop this. that pick up. So let's see. Aaron Rodgers is cast as the guy, and I think we go Amy Schumer for the, the CEO, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, I don't know if anyone uh, saw Escape from Danamora, which is kind of like this story, only not as like love story-ish. It, with Roseanne Arquette? Who's the other one? The big uh, titty one. Who's the sister? Patricia. Yeah. Patricia Arquette. Patricia, who, by the way, like, cast her again. Um, yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, so Is this based on that? Like, Jesus. No, that was a real story All right. that already they made. You know, so it's something that happens. Okay. Um, man, that's intense. I like it. I'm rooting for him. Um, you know, I do believe he's a change man. Yeah. Um, don't know him, obviously. But uh, he, he fell in love in a hopeless dog. place. Well, yeah. the dog knew too much, so I'm okay with that. It's stabbing the people that I don't really I know, get. It's such a like. It's violence. It's a lot. That's violence. That's a lot. Yeah. Because yeah. then why shoot the dog? Like if you didn't enjoy killing something, unless unless that was the 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 specifications of of the murder itself of like, hey, I'm gonna pay you to kill this person, but I want them to go through a lot of pain, so I want you to stab them. And he's like, all right. That's going to be an extra five. Right. An extra five grand. Or like tracing it back, like, you know, the gun easily, way easily traced than stabbing. I guess. But like if you're stabbing up people, right, why not just stab the dog, I guess? If you have a gun on you, why aren't you shooting the people and then the dog and then uh, you can uh, uh. clear those shells? I I don't really, I don't really understand it, but I understand the motive of these two now and it's love. And it's love and, like, I, I just, I like, like, thinking about how fun it was for them to, like, plan it mm-hmm. every day, like, mm-hmm. yeah. in, in jail, in prison. And they were fucking in a janitor's closet, probably. Yeah. Yeah, dude. That's how it was at the Dan, in the Danamora story. Yeah. Um, that's the one scene that stood out for me, too, you know, when she had her fucking tits out in there and you were just like, oh, all right, cool. Yeah, for sure. Um. So, yeah, I just like the idea of just, like, we want life. We are so tired of our boring-ass Alabama life existence. We are going to (laughs) crash this shit into the mountain. And on the way, we're going to have crazy sex. We're going to be on the run. I mean, they know it's over, right? Or... Do they fucking get away? I mean, there's no way in hell. Hang on. I I don't think anybody ever thinks that it's over. I really don't. I think all of these people who leave and run away. They can actually. Well, let's break this down, right? She was about to get her pension, which sets her up for life at that point. Right. No matter where you work. What life, though? You know what I mean? She was just like, I don't want to do it. I understand that, but she can be retired and and at least be financially free and not have to be a fucking CEO, right? Uh, And then homeboy, obviously, he's not going anywhere. I mean, was, was the kanjis not enough of like. He doesn't get... Oh, that's right. He doesn't get him, right? He's a murderer. Um, you know, I don't think you get him. Yeah, and he's not married, obviously, so he doesn't get him, but I, I don't know. Right, right. Certain states have weird laws with that or, you know, 
you for know where certain else? crimes you can't get it. Yeah. You know where else I think you could go is Portland, actually. I think you can go to Portland and get away with this. Spray paint your hair. Do a bunch of weird shit like that. Like, Why would you spray paint it and just not so dye I, it? So I watched, yeah, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. I watched uh, <laughs> uh, a story the other night where there was like Antifa in Portland and they were allegedly beating up some oh, people yeah. who were protesting the GOP. And they were like. Okay, hide in plain sight. I yeah, hear exactly. You. And they, and they mm-hmm. said, it took 25 minutes for the cops to get here and this was crazy. People were getting beat to death. And I was like, well, it's Portland. Nobody really wants to go down and deal with any of that shit anymore. Yeah. I think that's the play. I think that's the move now. Where, great, you want to shave your head, part of it, spray paint your shit, pierce a tit and a fucking nostril, take a baseball bat to shit, wear black everywhere. Nobody's going to stop you. Right. Nobody's going to say anything. And I think you can just kind of live that life and then shack up in one of those uh, old abandoned buildings that they've busted out the windows in. And then you can just kind of fuck. 95 grand will go a long way there. And it's a little bit of role play. You know, you got different colored hair. You got fucking fun boots on. Yeah. Go all the way up past your calf. Well, for her too, like she can say possibly that she was forced to, threatened to, whatever. Uh So she has that angle, although they did try that in Dana Moore as well, and it didn't work. Because you have, you know, eyewitnesses seeing you guys hanging out, talking, you know, other COs are going to know about your weird relationship that you have. So she can probably try that a little bit. Okay. It won't work. Right. But that's probably what she's thinking. You're right. Like, there's no way that it's as interesting as these people just being like, let's just fucking drive it into, you know, we're both going to die or we're both going to get shot or whatever. We're going to get caught. We're both going to be in prison for the rest of our lives, whatever. Mm-hmm. There's no way that they actually think that. 